So this is my little mini boat. It's made out of aluminum. It is approximately 80 inches long. Um, the top of the transom at the widest point is about 48 inches and the bottom of the V is around 42 inches. The side walls are about 15 inches, which is a little deep. It takes quite a bit of weight um, to push it down, but for me, I wanna be able to fish and add extra weight. I've got a four-year-old that she wants to ride with me, so, so that's that. Um, I got, as you can see, I got plenty of room a little more than most typical mini boats. Um, my seat is just temporary sitting in there. I've got it all kind of ripped apart and starting to gut it and rebuild it. Um, my envision is I'm gonna put a bench seat in it instead of just a little flip up seat and I'll make the backrest actually hold down just like this one does. Um, I'm gonna repaint the whole thing cause it's got some damage um, with the little boats when you're up on the docks with low water levels, it tends to hit the metal rails. So. I'm gonna modify that so that way I have bumpers and stuff like that so that does not take any more damage. Um, I got all my lights, my cleats, so that way I can be legal. My steering wheel is just a go-kart steering wheel that I got and I welded a one inch uh, diameter steel shaft which is um, slid through two pillow bearings which I have the the cable system so I got the 550 paracord and then I have the actual cable which this is soldered the tape is just for so you don't tear your fingers up and then like most I got my cables that run out the back and then I have my motor that actually will clamp down in there um, right now it is currently off because I hit a rock and I should sheared the little pin that's inside there so just got to take that apart and put a new pin in, not a big deal. Um, I'm using a 55 pound Minn Kota. And I got my light switches over here that if I had my battery plugged in, you could see they worked. Runs all my lights. Got my little low rants depth and fish finder. Um, so my vision for this winter right now, as you can see, it's about 10 below out and got the grill going and um, so this is my winter project till spring because I got a, about four months or so before I'm going to be able to use it again. I'm going to relocate where my battery once was sitting in the back. And I'm actually going to move it in the front. I'm going to modify my windshield and this whole front piece to make it a little more sleek. We're going to change the color of it and we're going to make an actual in-dash panel instead of having... Um, this little switch box, you know, which worked worked for last spring and was convenient. I'm gonna actually make it so when I redo my dash, it'll actually look like gauges and switches in the dash. And I'm actually gonna take my throttle because temporarily I was running out of time, so I just have the original head on there that is used for speed adjustment. I'm actually gonna make an actual throttle on the side, you know, like an actual boat would have. And just a lot of little things like that and upgrades and facelifts. So, um, yeah, you guys should uh, check it out. Subscribe, follow me. I'll be posting videos throughout the, this winter here of my project, my updates, and the things that I do. And this spring we'll be out fishing. And we got a whole community of these boats around here. Uh, my dad's got one. My uncle in Wisconsin's got one. Uh, another friend of my dad and uncle's got one. And... We're up here in South Dakota and my uncle's in Wisconsin and it's just been fun. And like I said, you know, I, I plan on doing a lot of fishing out of mine, hence the reason why it's so wide. But um, follow me, like it, check it out, follow, and hope to keep in contact and give me any input, any ideas, anything you think you'd wanna see, anything that I should do, I'd love to hear it. And uh, until the next video, take care.